New Caledonia from metropolitan France. The archipelago, part of the Melanesia subregion, includes the main island of Grande Terre, the Loyalty Islands, the Chesterfield Islands, the Belle Ep Archipelago, the Isle of Pines, and a few remote islets. The Chesterfield Islands are in the Coral Sea. French people, especially locals, call Grande Terre le Calou. New Caledonia has a land area of 18,576 square kilometers. Polynesians, and Southeast Asians, as well as a few people of Pied Noir in North African descent, who are the majority in the rich South Province. The capital of the territory is Nomia. The earliest traces of human presence in New Caledonia date back to the Lapitar period c. 1600 BC to c. 500 AD. The Lapita were highly skilled navigators and agriculturists with influence over a large area of the Pacific. British explorer Captain James Cook was the first European to sight New Caledonia. On the 4th of September 1774, during his second voyage, he named it New Caledonia, as the northeast of the island reminded him of Scotland. The west coast of Grande Terre was approached by the Comte de Laparaus in 1788. Shortly before his disappearance, and the Loyalty Islands were first visited between 1793 and 1796 when Mare, Lifu, Tiger, and Ovia were mapped by William Raven. The English whaler encountered the island named then Britannia, and today known as Mare between 1793 and 1887. Contacts with visiting ships became more frequent after 1840, because of their interest in sandalwood. As trade in sandalwood declined, it was replaced by a new business enterprise, blackbirding, a euphemism for taking Melanesian or Western Pacific Islanders from New Caledonia, the Loyalty Islands, New Hebrides, New Guinea, and the Solomon Islands into indentured or forced labor in the sugarcane plantations in Fiji and Queensland by various methods of trickery and deception. Blackbirding was practiced by both French and British Australian traders. But in New Caledonia's case, the trade in the early decades of the 20th century involved relocating children from the Loyalty Islands to the Grand Terre for labor in plantation agriculture. New Caledonia's primary experience with blackbirding revolved around a trade from the New Hebrides to the Grand Terre for labor in plantation agriculture, mines, as well as guards over convicts and in some public works. In the early years of the trade, Coercion was used to lure Melanesian islanders onto ships. In later years indenture systems were developed. However, when it came to the French slave trade, which took place between its Melanesian colonies of the New Hebrides and New Caledonia, very few regulations were implemented. This represented a departure from the British experience. Since increased regulations were developed to mitigate the abuses of blackbirding and recruitment. Strategies on the coastlines. The first missionaries from the London Missionary Society and the Marist Brothers arrived in the 1840s. In 1849, the crew of the American ship Cutter was killed and eaten by the Poma clan. Cannibalism was widespread throughout New Caledonia. On 24 September 1853, under orders from Emperor Napoleon III, Admiral Fabrier Despoints took formal possession of New Caledonia. Captain Louis Marie Francois Tardy de Montreval founded Port de France on the 25th of June 1854. A few dozen free settlers settled on the west coast in the following years. New Caledonia became a penal colony in 1864 and from the 1860s until the end of the transportations in 1897. France sent about 22,000 criminals and political prisoners to New Caledonia. The Bulletin de la Société Générale des Prisons for 1888 indicates that 10,428 convicts, including 2,329 freed ones, were on the island as of 1 May 1888. By far the largest number of convicts detained in French overseas penitentiaries. The convicts included many communards, arrested after the failed Paris Commune of 1871 including Henry de Rochefort and Louise Michel. Between 1873 and 1876, 4,200 political prisoners were relegated to New Caledonia. Only 40 of them settled in the colony.
the rest returned to France after being granted amnesty in 1879 and 1880. In 1864, nickel was discovered on the banks of the Diarro River. With the establishment of the Society Le Nickel in 1876, mining began in earnest to work the mines the French imported laborers from neighboring islands and from the New Hebrides, and later from Japan, the Dutch East Indies, and French Indochina. The French government also attempted to encourage European immigration. Without much success, the indigenous population, the Kanak people, were excluded from the French economy and from mining work, and ultimately confined to reservations. This sparked a violent reaction in 1878, when High Chief Atal of L'RFOA managed to unite many of the central tribes and launched a guerrilla war that killed 200 Frenchmen and 1,000 Kanaks. A second guerrilla war took place in 1917, with Catholic missionaries like Maurice Leinhardt Funk, 